Hello everybody, it's Wednesday, so it's a normal upload day. Um, thank you for everyone that's looked at the video from Monday to say about paints. I know it was an odd rambling one, but sometimes I do ramble a bit and give my opinion thinking that people might want to hear it. But if you enjoyed it, let me know down below in the comment section. And also, you know, share it among your friends. Um... Subscribe, you know, it's do a lot for the channel, and just knowing that you guys are subscribing and coming back week after week means so much to me. And I just want to say thank you for that. Um, I'm going to go over all the news from the the uh, Games Workshop Open Day. Uh, I wasn't there to see it myself, so this is what's on the Warhammer community site, but. It's going to be with my opinion, so let's just get on with it, and then if you like it, thumbs up, if you don't like it, thumbs down, and then in the comment section, tell me why you didn't like it. So, on with the show. Right then guys, already I'm going off topic. Up on the screen now is a poster that was on the Warhammer community page. Make space on your shelf. If you can't guess... It's a Space Marine, and it's in the style of Funko Pop. Yes, that's right, people. Games Workshop have signed a deal with Funko Pop so the IP can go on the little bobbly head minions of every nerd's shelf. Personally, myself, I'm not a great uh, Funko Pop collector. I think I had one... When I had, I, when I pre-ordered a game, and that was about it. But for those of that are interested, it's uh, it's there. So it's a little bit of cross nude section for you. At the moment, it's only forty k, and hopefully, Age of Sigma will come over as well. I'm not holding my breath, but I thought I'd let you know just in case you are interested. And the bit I'm more surprised about, it's not a lieutenant. There's information floating around on Twitter saying that it's going to be different. It's going to be different um, parts of the army from different arms. So you've got a Dark Angel, Angel Vet, a Space Wolf Blood Claw Leader, a Primaris Intercessor, which will probably be... Um, Ultramarine and I believe the next one is a jump pack which possibly is Blood Angel don't don't uh, take my word for it go hop over to Twitter if you are on Twitter to uh, double check for yourself like I'm not I'm not you know drawing a line in the sand and saying there's not going to be a lieutenant because we all know games work out I've got a thing about lieutenants at the moment. But let me know down below. Does this interest you? Is it non interesting? Is this cross nude polarization for you? Or are you just not bothered? It's you know I'm of the of the thing of I'm not really that bothered. If it's Age of Sigma, I might be tempted. But that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, it's moot. Yeah, I would say it's moot. Right then, guys, get back on topic. I'm going to kick us off with some Blood Bowl. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Right. Information we got is there's going to be extra grot players. So, as you can see on the screen in front of you, we've got... A guy with an axe, a guy with a pogo stick, and someone who thinks he's R. Kelly and believes he can fly. But this is exactly what we want for our grots. 
It's these guys that bring the fun and the craziness and the weirdness of Blood Bowl. Because these are the guys that will bring the fanatic. These are the guys that will bring a chainsaw hoping that you don't see it. They're going to do everything they can to stay in the game because they are they are the wimpiest players around. Granted, the littleness allows them to like get under your legs and everything. But this is the crazy fun aspect of Blood Bowl, so I hope everyone's excited to see this because I just can't wait to see him on the pitch. And yeah, it's just what do you guys think? Are you excited now? Or do you wish they'd done another team like Norse or Amazons at the moment? But you know, let me know down below. Because also we've got a troll and I I I know I normally sound excited about most um most of these models, but um I really, really don't like the troll that they've done. It's, I think it's a variant that we could have done without. He kinda looks a little bit how do I put this nicely? Shit. The troll that came out first was ten times better. This thing looks like... Well, it looks like it should get a participation award. And that's all I'm going to say about it. Really not impressed with it. This is like probably one of the few flops I think that have come out for Blood Bowl. But... This is just one man's opinion. If you guys think this is amazing, let me know down below. Because, as usual, I'm probably wrong. But I'm not going to know unless you tell me. But, just to end the uh, Blood Bowl news, I thought I'd give you something that is showing a 100% win for me. It is for the Nurgle team. It's a rot spawn. It's as disgusting and as weird as you want for your Nurgle team. You don't want a... Well, a tidy looking player when everyone else looks like they just haven't like staple their arms on because of their lovely, lovely rot. This guy looks just disgusting. He looks like you don't want to put your team anywhere near him. Can't wait to see the model. I think I will pick this up so I can like review it in hand but if you compare that to the troll that was uh, in head of this one now it, it's no comparison this is a 100% win that was like a 100% fail there's nothing on here that is wrong this is like a cross between a blocker and a fiend of uh, Nurgle, like the old looking models. So I kind of like it. Because it's kind of got that weird mix. And yeah, it's just, it, it looks Nurgly. It looks something you don't want to touch because you don't know whether like you're going to catch something or completely lose a limb. And then for the AOS, this dropped. And this is the one that came out the left field for me. This is taking me by surprise in a good way so excited to see this it's a new box set for aos i didn't see this coming because vigilus has taken a lot of people's attention attention so it's good to see that they're still concentrating on aos as well so as we know from uh, the trailers it's a box set it is Flesh Eater Court versus Skaven. There's two new models in this uh, set. It's going to be a Skaven, a Grenadier, and he's carrying a warp stone rocket, which in the description says it's safer 
to drive a Doom wheel, than to wheel this thing, so... I can't wait to see any War Scrolls that come out for that guy, because it sounds like it's going to be absolutely mental. And with a possibility of taking out the player. So, who knows? It's going to be interesting. The other part that I'm interested in is the new um, Flesh Eater Courts. Was it Arc Regent, I believe it's called? Which is supposed to be higher than a Ghoul King. So it's mm, another creepy model that we can have for our collection. So it's going to be two new models and a lot of other bigger models by the look of it. I'll put up the picture for the actual box set. And you can see what I mean. Because... Right at the front, we got the two new models facing off. Then we've got a set of three Storm Fiends, a Doom Wheel, and a Warp Lightning Cannon. So, already, that's about 70 to 80 quid without the HQ, just for the Skaven. So... This set is probably going to come in between 90 to £100. Pound. I'm going to guess it's going to be about the £95 pound mark. Kind of like Wrath and Rapture. So already, that's a big chunk of the set. So you're going to get a lot of saving by the look of it in this one. So, like I said, there's Storm Fiends. They're about £38, pound, I believe. The Warp Lightning Cannon is about £20.50, and I believe the Doom Wheel comes in at £20 to £25. So, it's an amazing deal. And, as we all know, the character is coming in at the moment at between £20 to £25. He's a small little guy, so I'm going to guess he's about £20. So, I think you've got your box set right by there. And, one thing about these sets, they are amazing to go with. The start collecting boxes because you've got because you've got this set of all the big players. Then you add your box, your start collecting set to get all your little um, front runners, and then you can put it on to the table and just check it out. It's amazing. Um, are you guys ex excited to see a Skaven army in a box set? Does this mean we are going to get a new Skaven book coming soon? What do you guys think? Tell me down below. And yeah, I want to see your views on what you think of this box. Do you think it's it's a bit naff? Do you think it's just come off, come off the heels of another set and we want to see if that expands first before jumping into a another box set or do you guys want it and want it now and you, you're gonna wait for this before you pick up your army i just want to know so you've got to tell me down below otherwise nobody's gonna know but before i get excited and carry away let's have a look at the year flash 80 court side so we've got ghouls which are your standard front runners we've also got Crypt Horrors and Crypt Flayers. And I know that doesn't sound as impressive as the Skaven side, but how you will remember, how you will look at it, sorry, not how you're going to remember it, is these two kits, the Crypt Horror and the Crypt Flayers, are, more, are, are multi kits. So you can have Crypt Hunter Courtiers, you can have Crypt Infernal Courtiers. You can just make a whole lot of just one unit. It's down to you. They give you a suggestion to build it like this. But at the end of the day, it's down to you. So, I think it's another really good um, saving on this side. Because it's £29 if you bought two sets of, like, say, Crypt Courtiers or Crypt Horrors. As well as the ghouls then, on top of that, 
it's a lot of saving because crypt goals are like 25 pounds so you if you think about it, you know you pay 60 pound for two units of say crypt horrors and crypt players then you've got your 25 pound uh unit of crypt goals so you're up to the 70 pound mark again i think again hq is going to come in at 20 pound so You'd get in an army free probably if they stick to the normal pricing. That's how you will look at this amazing saving. Is I'm buying it for exam example a Skaven, and I'm getting a free army on the side on top of that. So this has taken me by surprise, and this is amazing. I just can't wait to see it. I want to get more information on it. I might do what I done last time and do like a let's build basic army for both and see where that goes. Like I did with Corn and Slanesh for the Wrath and Rapture. If you're interested in that, let me know down below. But this is amazing and we've got this information just as they said we need more grot on the table and then they release the gloom the gloom gets and i've just been looking over the the loon king's rules and he is amazing i'm gonna go over him in a separate video because this guy is just bonkers it, it's a new breed of hq so it's gonna be amazing to see these guys on the table what do you guys think? Are you interested in any of this on the table at the moment? Are you not interested? Is it just a big bag of meh? Let me know in the comment section. Right then, guys. That's the end of the show. Um, it's my opinion on all these AOS slash Blood Bowl releases. But... My opinion is the starter. As I've said the whole way through this video. Leave a comment down below. And tell me your opinions. If you've reached this point. I want to say thank you for watching the video. And if you haven't already. Please like and subscribe. That means so much to the, me and the, everyone that's on the channel. Because I'm starting to rope a few other people in. And if you got friends that you think are interested in this type of thing share it with them so they can subscribe as well where you want this community to grow because as i always say this channel is nothing if it's not for you guys because i believe in the interaction with you guys so the bit i'm not looking forward to now is down below there's a patreon and a paypal link so if you want to help the channel out a little bit more thank you very much it's a pre it's appreciated i'm sorry i can't get my words out i've only had like two cups of tea today i'm gonna go make another one now um but yeah thank you again and i shall see you soon and the next video is going to be a quick review of the Loon King. Because at the moment I feel he is an absolute legend in the making. He is, well I don't know, he just, he looks like a proper lad, a lads tour type of guy. So, I'll see you in that video. Have fun everyone. Sayonara.